For more on the Suns, we head to Las Vegas where Ian Sachs has been following the team in their NBA Summer League. The Suns continue to look to add pieces to the rotation. Though they didn't have any picks in last month's draft, there are 11 rookies on the Summer League roster. Through three games here in Vegas, the Suns have won a pair of blowouts and suffered a 25-point setback. But each of these contests serves as a reminder that this 11-day showcase is a learning experience for everyone on the court. Last night against the Mavericks, Phoenix was led by a balanced attack en route to a 27-point win. The Suns controlled the game from the beginning and showed an elevated level of focus from just two days prior. With eight players scoring at least nine points, Summer League coach Steve Scalzi noted that players up and down the roster made positive impressions with Suns head coach Monty Williams in attendance. Anyone who's in was ready and ready to do their role. Um, that's what this thing is. You know, that's the role that they're auditioning for in the NBA is just to kind of be ready at any moment. And I think it was 1 through 16 today, each guy showed that. The players aren't the only ones trying out new jobs. 17-year NBA veteran small forward Richard Jefferson refereed the second quarter of the Knicks Trailblazers game Monday night. Each time he made a call or touched the ball, the entire arena let out a large chair, which brought a smile to the face of the former Arizona Wildcat. Jefferson is the fourth former player to try his hand at officiating. There's no word yet on any future refereeing gigs for the 42-year-old turned broadcaster. In Las Vegas, Ian Sachs, Cronkite News.